Hey hey, Bounceio here, and today we're going to be looking at an app called Widgetsmith. The objective of this app is to let you set custom widgets, as you can see. So depending on the even the wallpaper that you have or the theme that you're going for with your iPhone, you can be able to set up different kinds of widgets. So let's see how that works for us. Uh, so uh, once you open, you have different tabs. So you have widgets, you have tools, you have what's new, and then you also have some settings. So let's start here by looking at how you can add, for example, a small widget. So you come here and tap on add small widget. And then you can see some of the widgets that you can add for yourself. And then you can have goal bars, you can have step goals, you can even have a, a sun path, you can have a month. So let's start simple and see a month and date. And then you can also set the aesthetic slash the theme. So let's select this one. Personally, I feel like this UI is a bit too junky for my liking. Uh, like the, the the layouts are just not that good and they're not, um, it's not kind of my style. But let's just see. So here is what you get when you're going with that theme. Uh, you can even have a custom text and things like that. So let's go back. Um, you can save that. So now we have a small widget um, added. Now if you go back to our homepage, let me remove this one remove widget let's add a new widget and it's right here so you can say small widget and then you say add uh, done so edit widget and then it's possible for you to select between all the different widgets which we've just selected so the one which I've just made is widget 3 and that should be that so looks pretty cool I guess um, then you can tap on it and I guess it'll open the widget theme again uh, not now but this is the idea with this app uh, let's see uh, what the premium features are and uh, what you can get so you can get display weather and tides you can get different filters even for your widget photos which uh, is a pretty cool idea I think you can also get um, display weather and tides you can get a, a bunch of information uh, like for example uh, different styles even more styles basically so the monthly cost is uh, two bucks every month uh, but then it's um, 20 bucks every year personally I don't think it's worth that price um, it's too much just to have a widget on your screen and the Apple iPhone will just give you uh, default widgets already but let's create a large widget so that we can see how that part works so if we wanted a custom text, so let's see, we can select our own kind of uh, aesthetic. I like that one. And then we can add our text. So let me just write here, subscribe, subscribe. And then I'm like, cool, we're done. I hope that's it, okay. So I will save that. And then when I come to my widgets come here medium large add um, done and then i can come here edit the widget and then select the widget which i currently have so the one which i made was large too and it should pop up there subscribe so that's the app you are able to create different widgets uh, so you can download it and play around maybe you like the designs more than me i feel like the app UX could be improved and the layout could be a bit more tightened up. But as you can see, there's many different kinds of things you can do with this app. Um, that's it for this review. Uh, thank you for clicking on this vid and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.